The question number 6. The line L1 has the equation is given 3x minus 4y plus 20 equals 0. The line L2, that's another line, cuts the x-axis at, at the point R and the, the line L2 is parallel to L1. So they want you to find the equation of L2 and the main thing is you need to write it in the form ax plus by plus c equals 0 where a, b, c are integers to be found. Look at the question. L1, the equation of L1 is given and L2 cuts the x-axis at r of 8 comma 0 and is parallel to L1. That's what given. So we need to find the equation of L2. This has 3 marks. Three marks. So if two lines are parallel, you must know already because in straight line graphs we have learned if two lines are parallel, they will have, uh, the both of them will have the same gradient, same slope. So you need to find the slope of this line. You cannot just take the coefficient of x as a slope. Some people I notice, some of them doing that, that's wrong. You always need to write the equation in the form y equals mx plus y equals mx plus c. That means you change this equation into, uh, it's like changing the subject to y. So when you bring that 4y to the other side, 3x plus 20 equals 4y, divide everything by 4, 3 upon 4x plus 20 upon 4, which is 5, equals y. Or uh, when you flip it, y equals 3 upon 4x plus 5. This is the equation of L1. L1. Now this is in the form y equals the slope intercept form y equals mx plus c. Now any line which is parallel to this straight line will have the same gradient 3 upon 4. So since L2 is parallel to L1, the equation of L2 will be y equals 3 upon 4x plus c. The gradient will be the same but the y intercept will be different. So, which, which, which is yet to be found. So, how do we find the y-intercept? We are given a point here that the line cuts the x-axis at this point. Substitute the point here. Substitute x-coordinate for x and 0 for y. You will get the value of c already. When you substitute, y is 0, 3 upon 4 into x is 8 plus c. So, it is 2, 6 comes here, minus 6. Your c is minus 8. So, the equation of L2 will be equation of L2 will be the same equation substitute this uh, value of C here. So y equals 3 upon 4x minus 6. So this is the equation of uh, L2. But if you stop here you don't get 3, three marks because the question clearly says they want you to write the equation in the form ax plus by plus c is 0 where a, b, c are integers. The coefficients and the constant term all should be integers. But here it is not integer. 3 by 4 is a fraction. So you need to uh, remove this fraction. So take this denominator 4, multiply throughout by 4. It becomes 4y. When you multiply by 4, it will be cancelled 3x. 4 times 6, 24. Maybe you can put everything one side. Bring 4y four, four to the other side. 3x minus 4y minus 24 is 0. Or if you bring these two terms to this side, it becomes minus 3x plus 4y plus 24 is 0. Both are correct answers. You can write any of, either you can bring 4y to the other side and you can write it like this. Or you can bring these two terms this side and these are all integers. 3 minus 4 minus 24 or minus 3 plus 4 plus 24. So this is the equation. If you write this equation clearly, you will be given 3 marks. If you stop here, you will most likely lose 1 mark. This is our part A. Then we move on to part B. The line L1 cuts the x-axis at P and y-axis at Q. Given that PQRS is a parallelogram, find there are two, uh, two parts, part B and part C. You need to find the area of a parallelogram PQRS first then the coordinates of S. So part B clearly says the L, L1 cuts the x-axis at the point P and 
y axis at q and if a, if we take a point s in a way such that pqrs forms a parallelogram they want you to find the area of a parallelogram which carries three marks how, how do we approach this question so if i were you i will always draw a rough diagram it saves you a, a lot of time so let's say we draw a simple diagram again there is no marks for your diagram but again I, it's a piece of advice from me it is always good to draw a simple diagram which will which will make your life much easier so if you take x and y axis x and y axis and try to draw the first straight line it says the straight line cuts the x axis x axis and the point p so whenever a line cuts the x axis at some point you want to find the coordinates of the point the point will have zero as a y coordinate so substitute y is equal to zero here so your x will be when you substitute y is zero 3x is minus 20 so it will be minus 20 upon 3 so the point will be somewhere here minus 20 upon 3 comma zero that's your point p that's a point p and it cuts the y axis at q y axis is the y intercept so if you have from part a we have uh, modified this to the slope intercept form so this in the slope intercept form you can take the y intercept that's 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 the point where the line meets y axis or uh, if you want to find from here keep x as zero so you will have y is minus 4y is minus 20 y is 5 so let's say somewhere here it is 0 comma 5 that's our point q so our l1 will be this sorry about my diagram this is the l1 straight line l1 and l2 l2 cuts the x axis at r of 8 comma 0 in part a it's given the cuts x axis at r of 8 comma 0 let's say 8 is here 8 comma 0 this is point r and L, L1 and L2 are parallel, so we just draw a parallel line. Okay, now they say PQRS is a parallelogram. The S is not the point where the line intercept Y axis. It can be any point, but PQRS, if you just join this, if you just join this, and from P, you need to join another point. Maybe here or here, we are not sure actually. This is the point S. But only thing, the PQRS is parallelogram. That means these two lines are parallel. You see, now, look at this parallelogram PQRS. We don't, we don't have the coefficients of S. But they want you to find the area of this uh, parallelogram. So if you know if you know a base and a height, you can find the area of parallelogram base into height. Or if you know the two diagonals as a vectors, if you learn vectors, you can you can find the area of a parallelogram also. Here we don't we don't know which one is base. We we, we know nothing. So all we have is uh, these three these three points only. So how do we find the parallelogram? And this uh, question has three marks. So what do we do in a parallelogram? You take any parallelogram any parallelogram and you divide the parallelogram along this diagonal into two triangles two triangles and the area of this triangle and this triangle will be equal the area will be equal so what we are going to do we are going to find the this is one diagonal PR so we are going to find the area of this triangle and multiply it by 2 which will give you the area of a parallelogram. Why I am doing uh, this method? Because this is much easier. Finding the area of this triangle is much easier. You can find the base. This is 8 units. This is 8 units. And we have here 20 upon 3 units. 20 upon 3 units. So your base is 8 plus 20 upon 3. That's the total length. And your height is, height is the perpendicular height from the third vertex to the base, which is 5 units because y coordinate is 5. So this will be 5 units. So your height is 5 units. So the area of this uh, triangle will be half base, which is 
uh, A3s are 24, 44 upon 3 times height. That's the area of this triangle. And if you multiply it by 2, you will get the area of a parallelogram. So area of a parallelogram PQRS equals 2 into this half into 44 by 3 into I can cancel this out. So when you multiply, you will get 200, 4, 5, so 20, 220 upon 3 square units. So this is the easiest way because this question has only 3 marks. Again, I repeat this again, there is no marks for this diagram. But when you draw a diagram, you see it is easy to find the base and height. It will save much of your time. So the area of a parallelogram is 220 square units. Now let's move on to part C. Our part C says they want you to find the coordinates of S. Coordinates of S, the X and Y coordinates. And it has, it has two marks actually. So how do we find the coordinates of S? There are a number of ways. Either you can find the length of this and length of this, equate them and try to solve the simultaneous equation. Or you know the equation of L2, the equation of L2, and try to find the equation of this line, because this line will have the same slope as this line. You can find the slope using the two points, and find the y-intercept using the this point. So you will get the uh, equation of this line. So find the point of intersection, so you will get S. So there are a number of ways to solve this. But again, I always tell this to my students. Before you jumping into solving a question, always read the question carefully. They say the coordinates of S, that's all. Again, the ne next thing before you solving it, you need to pay attention to your total marks actually. Your part C, this is part B. Part C has only two marks. So it's not, it's not worth your time if you solve, if you take any other method. It's going to consume a lot of time. So the easier method, because it has only two marks, we don't need to do a much of working. So the easier method, if you take a look at these points, okay, Q, uh, PQ and SR. Let's say I move this point Q along this way parallelly, parallelly to the other line, the Q becomes R. So P, P becomes S. That means... When your Q, the point Q or the point Q is 0, 5 becomes R. When you move along this line, Q becomes R of 8, 0. So P of minus 20 by 3, 0 becomes S. We don't know the coordinates. This is the easiest way. This only works for parallelogram, square or rectangle because all the opposite sides are parallel. You cannot take it for this any other quadrilateral, it won't, it, it won't work. So Q becomes R. So your X coordinate becomes 8 and Y coordinate becomes 0. That means X coordinate is added by 8. So here the new X coordinate will be minus 20 upon 3 plus 8. You just add 8 to the X coordinate. And 5 becomes 0. That means 5 is 5 is subtracted from the y coordinate. So you need to minus 5. So your y coordinate will be 0 minus 5. This is the easiest approach. So it will be 24, A3s are 24, 4 upon 3, comma, minus 5, which is the coefficients 4 upon 3. It is positive 4 upon 3. X coordinate is positive 4 upon 3, minus 5 is a y value. This is the easiest approach. Because the question has only two marks, so it's not worth your time if you if you move uh, if you try to work it out by using some other method by finding there are number of methods. I agree, there are number of methods. But if you try to do it using some other method, it's going to take a long time. This question has only two marks, which tells us that you you are not supposed to spend more than two minutes on this question. So your coordinates of S will be 4 upon 3 comma minus y. I repeat this again if you don't understand. The Q, when you move this line, the line segment along the way, along these two lines to line L2, your point Q becomes R, 
So P becomes what? What is, what is the change in the X and Y coordinate? You just compare it, that's it, simple. Your Q0 becomes 8 here and 5 becomes 0. That means from this X coordinate you added 8. So you need to add 8 here to get the X coordinate. And your Y coordinate you minus 5 so it becomes 0. So you minus 5 again, minus 5 here. So you get 4 upon 3 minus 1. 